Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good day, and thanks for staying with the Valder Beebe Show. I took a break, but I'm back now. You know, spring is actually almost coming. Yeah, it's just around the corner, so hold on. And I've got Erin Chase here to give us some spring cleaning hacks. Erin, welcome to the Valder Beebe Show. Good morning, Valder. Thanks for having me on. Well, I love cleaning, so you're the perfect guest for me. Hopefully my audience feels like I do. I love to clean, and I love that clean feeling. We got spring coming up. What are some of the cleaning jobs? You know, they're daunting tasks, but what are some of those daunting tasks that we need to accomplish? Well, especially right now, I feel like we have a lot of those in our homes. And I want to give you a strategy and a structure that's going to help you, you know, cut the overwhelm of all the cleaning projects that need to happen, as well as kind of give you a starting off point and some motivation to get you going on your spring cleaning. And my strategy is fairly simple. It's go room by room and then move top to bottom in the room. And I'll share an example of what that looks like in the kitchen here in just a second. So I have my strategy but I also have my caddy. And my caddy, I actually have these under the sinks in my house, in my bathrooms and kitchen. I have one in the garage as well for you know quick cleanups in the car or in the laundry room right there. And it just makes it really, it makes it convenient having everything I need right there when I need it. So like when the bath or the, the toothpaste gunk kind of falls onto the bathroom counter, I can use an art of green wipe that's right there in my caddy and just wipe it right up or, you know, clean off the bathroom faucets that kind of get spotty from brushing your teeth, you know, day after day. And so having them right there really helps with those quick cleanups. But then I also have all the tools and all the products that I need for the deeper spring cleaning. So I have my strategy and I have my caddy and I am ready to go um, room by room. So let's start in the kitchen. The greasy mess that's above your stove, your vent hood, your microwave, the cabinets up, up there, lots of cooking grease you're gonna find up there. And I like to use the Penalin Original, two tablespoons in a 32 ounce spray bottle with water just spray the greasy mess and wipe it clean. And that's why I love the Penalin because it's made with five times the real pine oil as other leading brands, which magnifies its cleaning power. And it does a great job of re removing the grease and the oil, especially around and above your stovetop. I'll use it on the actual stovetop in the grates on the stovetop. And then I'll move, you know, that's top, middle, moving all the way down, we'll do the kitchen cabinets. There always seems to be little food mixed in onto the cabinets and the drawer pulls, the silverware drawer. I got some little kids in my house and that thing can get dirty real quick. And the Penalin does a great job of cleaning <laughs> off the cabinets and the drawer pulls. I want my audience to know that Erin is an expert. She's the founder of the five di $5 dinner. She's a mom of four, four and she considers herself a clean influencer. Boy, great title there, Erin. I love that. What about those hard yeah. jobs that people don't like to do? And you just named one of those hard jobs. You know, I don't like to clean that grease because it's so hard, so stuck on. But what about those hard jobs that we don't like to do? How do we do that? How do we even get up the courage to do that? I think it's, it's, it's knowing these hacks, right? The Penalin does a great job of removing the grease baseboards okay so i'm not getting any younger and i don't want to be crawling around on my hands and knees so i actually make a baseboard broom so i'll wrap a microfiber cloth around the broom and just use some rubber bands to attach it and then i'll spray art of green right onto the cloth and then just sort of swipe and sweep the baseboards and the art of green does an amazing job of removing the the dirt that's on the baseboards and just any like you know food that might get stuck there or gunk that somehow gets attracted to the baseboards that's one of those sort of once a year projects, but when you have the right way to clean them and the best product to clean them, it just makes it a whole lot easier. And another one of those, you know, tough to clean areas or just ones you try, you, I avoid this at my house, is the soap scum in the bathroom and the shower and your bathtub and actually using fabric softener. So I use Ensueño Max fabric softener to remove the soap scum. It's super easy four parts water, one part in Sueño Max, mix that up, and all you need is the soft side of a sponge, and it just wipes right off. You don't have to like scrub or anything. It just wipes right off. You rinse it with warm water, and now you have beautifully clean shower doors, glass, bathtubs in your bathroom. 
And then last is mopping the floors. I, you know, it's just, it's kind of, we've moved top to bottom. It's the last thing that you need to do. And I really like having a product that's gonna do a fantastic job of getting all the dirt up off the floor. The Chloralin Disinfectant Bleach is what I like to use for mopping my floors. I'll add half a cup of the bleach with one and a half gallons of water and then just go and mop through. I'm always amazed at how much the Chloralin gets off the floors. And then they're left both sanitized and sparkling clean. I'm amazed at how wonderful you, you make this sound. That's what I'm amazed at. I'm thinking I can do this. You can, you can. <laughs> Where can we find out more information, Erin? You can get more information about these great products and other cleaning tips at allenusa.com. I want to thank you so very much for talking about one of my favorite subjects, cleaning, love cleaning. And I'm going to try some of those hacks. So you got to come back and find out how they work for me. Thank you so much, Erin. I really I appreciate it. Love it. Thanks for having me on, Valder. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.